Hey there! Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. Um, today I'd like to demonstrate how I finish my uh, paintings. So I uh, use this Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel and it's super easy to use. It's relatively inexpensive. I think this is maybe seven bucks at Home Depot and uh, you can cover well, maybe a dozen paintings with it. So it's uh, e uh, economical and really easy to use. So um, before I coat my paintings, um, I like to sign them. So I just sign down in the corner and um, I just use a Sharpie. It seems to work pretty well. It seems to, to hold very well. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> also I want to make sure that my painting is completely cured before I top coat it. And you, if you look on YouTube and the internet, you might find varying uh, amounts of time recommended as far as top, as far as waiting for your acrylic pour to cure. But for me, I usually wait two and a half or three weeks and then I'm good. So that's what I generally do. And then once it's cured, it's been sitting somewhere curing. So I generally take a damp, cloth and just sort of wipe it down to make sure there's no dust or anything on there before I spray my um, top coat. So um, I like to do three coats of the um, Rust-Oleum and uh, they recommend about 30 minutes in between each coat to let it dry so that's what I do and um, today I'm, I'm uh, gonna spray outside. I had been spraying in my basement studio in my house but that was that was becoming a problem because the fumes were running all through the house and yeah that's not very healthy even with it using a mask I still was <clears throat> affected by the fumes so I decided to try it outside so what I've done is <clears throat> I just have a ladder and I, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit I have down here a an old styrofoam cooler that we had around and all I'm simply gonna do is lay the painting on top of there and Start spraying. So of course you have to shake this guy up a while. Um, I think it, it recommends about a minute to shake it up. <clears throat> you can hear the ball in there clunking around, shaking up the um, enamel. And the tricky part sometimes is getting the lid off, but we got it. <clears throat> so yeah, it's super easy. Just uh, gonna come over here and start spraying. I do a light coat since I'm doing three coats. And you continue to shake the bottle or the can while you spray. I go one direction and then another and then kind of go around and make sure I hit the edges. And that's it. So like I said, just a very light coat. And uh, I'm going to let this guy dry for about 30 minutes. Come back and do another coat. 30 minutes, come back and do another coat. And then I'm good. So um, I guess that's it. This was a short little video. I hope you found it helpful. If so, please like my video, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.